Pregunta.
a superhero on the run. Just follow my moves and sneak around. Be careful not to make a sound. No, don't touch that. We are not Gentleman from Mega India. Hit him with a thumbs, hit him with a good, hit him with a good good. All right, what are we gonna do, gentlemen? Je it's a gentleman's duel, a most ridiculous giant. I hope you don't have a royal giant. Royal giant. <laughs> I still love that one mocking post someone made about it. It's not like, I mean, yeah, whatever. We're not gonna talk about it. All right, uh, Musketeer. We got a giant going down the lane. So the push with this deck is giant and then graveyard. Oh, come on. Archers? Deal with watch this fireball. Oh clutch. Oh clutch. Wait, did he fireball me as well? I think he did. All right, we're gonna have a half health giant. Here's one thing you can do. This is a fun fact. You can save the graveyard and make it a surprise yard, and play it at the end or in double elixir time. Because to put the full push together, you're gonna want your giant on the the tower aggroing the giant, focusing on the giant. And then you're going to want the graveyard somewhere like here, not too close to the king tower. And then you generally want a zap or fireball ready. If they have a skeleton army, a zap. If they have like a musketeer or archers, fireball. And a musketeer, fireball, and zap. But uh, we'll see how this one plays out. I'll put my giant down now. The lone musketeer, the counter for the furnace. I mean, it works. I'm on board. Mega Minion, I want to take that musketeer out quickly. Oh, let's do this now. Well, graveyard, I'll, say, I'll make that prince charge into nothing and then look at this mega minion zap graveyard giant the larry's are in there swinging away oh they almost oh come on fire spirits yes <laughs> two fire spirits they just took out minions and a prince that was a good little push there except oh man his that wait how much a couple giant swings and a fireball he's gotten way more tower damage than i there we go now we're up Literally one fire spirit makes a world of difference. Just keep that furnace going, baby. All right, giant in the back. I'll match your giant for giant. He's got a he's got a giant musketeer prince deck with some minions in it. Interesting deck. Mega minion. Uh, archers. Here we go. Is that fireball worthy? Oh, now it is. Oh, hit it. I'm going to add some minions, add a giant, soak that prince up. He's got a rage spell! He's got a rage! Ma! Oh man, this went south real quick. Zap! She's still got a shot off. All right, so how do we recover from this one? Dang it, all right, so he went giant in the back. I gotta go giant at the bridge. Bring it. Bring it, Sal. Oh, he's got the guards for me now. Fireball's in. Boom. I mean, a good fireball, but it's not gonna be enough. Uh, the furnace to pull. Oh, what is that panic fireball? He botched the fireball. What in the world? Who does that in this day and age? Uh oh. Kill that prince! Kill that prince!
We'll probably be facing some lower level um, characters like this, characters, some lower level people like this, um, level 11. So um, we'll see what he ends up bringing with this push right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kite this, um, kite this knight around, and we're going to go ahead and kill this princess. And um, then, honestly, you watch this. We can, oh man. About to say we can go ahead and cycle back through. We'll go ahead and let those uh, fire spirits do their thing, and then Elite Barbarian should take him out pretty quickly. He is still going to get off two full shots, and then the Elite Barbarians are going to come in and they should do a little bit of work over there. Um, let's go ahead and drop off our Hog Rider as well, 
um, and the elite barbs are going to get up in there. They're going to tank a little bit for him, and that tower is going to be done. So, hogs and elite barbs work really well together, obviously. Um, I'm not going to drop off anything else quite yet. I'm going to bring my mic over here a little bit closer. Um, we are going to log her, obviously, right about now. Just wanted to make sure she was going to drop anything. She doesn't get off a shot there. So we're good to go. There's his RG. We're going to have to freeze it. And boom, boom, boom. Zap as well. And uh, we're just going to have to let the cannon take it out this time. And it should. All right, so the cannon's going to take it out. Even though he's a level 11, guys, he has a level 12 uh, Royal Giant. So generally, like, level 11s are going to have higher level... Uh, higher level cards, or at least the ones up here that you're going to face, and so often, guys, it's ridiculous, they, um, I, I, I've known people to go back and, like, just start accounts and just upgrade these cards or just gym these cards, things like that, you go ahead and log all of that away, and, oh, come on, get that princess too, nice, that was good, I like that a lot, oh, I like that a lot, we're going to go ahead and go here, and zap, oh, come on, zap, Lately, guys, I'm not even kidding you. Lately, whenever I've tried to, um, whenever I've tried to zap the, um, whenever I've tried to zap the Sparky, it literally just hasn't worked. It's just failed. <laughs> like I, w I try and wait to the last second, which is not what you want to do. Um, nice. He's gonna do. He's gonna set this up perfectly for me, so we can go here and there, and let's see if we can freeze it as well. Come on, freeze it. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That was a strong freeze right there, guys. That was a strong freeze. And let's see if we can take out this princess as well. Nope. We are going to be able to take out that tower, though. Come forward, princess. She's not going to come forward, but it's all right. That tower is down. Go ahead and drop this guy off. Go ahead and zap this. Go ahead and go here. And that's going to be a W for us against the Royal Giant. So the thing with this deck, obviously we just made it. I don't really know um, how well it's going to be against the level 13 or anything like that. But the... <laughs>
and actually the Electro Wizard took out the tower, so I didn't even need to do that. And so now we just gotta try and defend for five more seconds, um, drop the Ice Golem down to take those minions out, and then Skeleton Army right there. <laughs> against P. Lu, okay, good luck. Uh, Mega Minion, the Log, Zap, and Golem. Okay, we're gonna start off with the Mega Minion right here at the back. Don't wanna start off with the Golem, that would be just too risky playing Eight Elixir. He's gonna play a Mortar, so we're gonna to play Prince right here. What is he gonna support that Mortar with? Anything? An Ice Wizard and a Knight, that was pretty late. We're gonna add the Ice Golem in front of our Mega Minion on the right. And we'll play some archers right here, finish off, weaken this knight. He's gonna zap the mega minion so that his musketeer can kill it. Okay. And uh, we can ignore this musketeer now. Alright. And we'll play our furnace on the left. Because our tower is weak there. So he's most likely gonna want to push on the left. Um, he is a mortar user. So knowing that he has mortar, we're gonna save up elixir. 
to possibly play our golem to distract the mortar. The furnace can also block the mortar, so that's great. Uh, let's see, he's got archers over there. Um, one thing I don't know is whether he has an inferno tower. Probably not, because he has a giant. And having giant inferno and mortar, that's just really expensive. So he most likely doesn't have uh, inferno tower. We're gonna play prince, because even when the golem pops, He's going to summon Golemites, which you can then add uh, to shield your prince with. Alright, nice. Um, unfortunately, that Ice Wizard just slows down everything so much. Hmm. Alright, we're going to use a log. We can the Ice Wizard, the Archers, and we'll use the Ice Golem with the Furnace. Block the, the Mortar. The Fire Spirits, as you can see right there, distracted his Mortar. We'll play our Archers right here and with their range. They can sneakily take down that mortar, yep. They also take a hit from a mortar, so that's great. And nice, weaken that uh, musketeer very well. All right, we're gonna place down that golem right here. No, that musketeer got two hits and it was at like 1% help. <laughs> uh, he's gonna play his giant on the right. Okay, uh, this is a good opportunity for me to just blast him on the left. Whoa, he's gonna play graveyard as a defense like that okay um we'll just do this we'll use a lag on all of that and the prince has you know he's he's high dps he can kill a giant pretty easily so there we go the couple of swings he took down that giant and we'll add in a golem for the counter push he clumped all of his units right there okay um let's use the ice golem here first and then we're gonna play the mega minion while they're distracted Man, all those skeletons from the graveyard. We're gonna zap them so that our golem can deal some more damage. Okay, nice. And we'll place down that furnace here once again. He's gonna play his mortar. And we'll just block that mortar again with the golem. So we're kind of like pushing on two lanes. We're trying to protect one and uh, push both lanes <laughs> at the same time. But it's working. We're weakening both of his towers. We just need one good push in one lane and we can win this. So let's do this. Let's do Prince and Ice Golem. Ice Golem in front of the Prince. Let's do what he does to stop that. We got two pushes going on. Two great pushes. Yep, you're not going to stop that. Awesome. Prince locked onto his tower. We use the Ice Golem to shield him. And if he had a, like, if he had, say, a skeleton. <laughs>
and gentlemen, we have Jewish Panda up 1-0 against Lucifer. Again, we are in the final, so it is a best of five. Jewish Panda can bring the same deck again, but you can only win with one deck two times here in the finals. Has Clout Gaming won a Coronation Day yet? No, I'm saying both of these are now, I think, oh, new yeah, okay. clans. Oh, uh, yay. Because Garrett was from Synergy. Yes. And then, of course, yeah, Hammers, Takeover, Takeover, Reddit, Reddit. Read it. <laughs> so, either, so either way, so now we are going to have Take a new it. clan winner. That's great. Cloud's been around for a long time. One of the original major gaming clans in the Clash Royale scene, mm -hmm. so very impressive. It looks like the Musketeer's going to be just out of Golem Exploding range. Wow, that Musketeer is avoiding a lot of damage. <laughs> She's just standing perfectly still. Oh, wow, good roll. <laughs> <laughs> I love bowler so much. When he starts walking from behind the tower, he does the bowling, bowling, bowling. So good. Another tombstone's gonna prevent. Oh, actually, so Jewish Panda going for a second game with his golem deck, which means that he is willing to have his back against the wall with, with the Expo, Expo. Yeah. and try to win one of the last three games, maybe, of the match with Expo. But he wants to take the two wins that he feels like he's more comfortable with, sure. with his. Uh, with his golden deck. You also might, again, the psychological pressure you might also place on your opponent by them being only one game away from losing might make them make that one slip up that yes, could cost them Very good game. point, you're right. Now this is interesting. Lucifer prefers the giant, I mean, based on this coronation day, Lucifer has been killing golem decks with his giant bowler. Very good point. And he did it with that pretty interesting combination of stacking up bowlers. Let's see if he does that again. He's go Golemites, go away. <laughs> Get out. Point, point, point. No. Get out of here, beat it. One more. Oh. Kick rocks, kid. No. <laughs> Go kick <laughs> your... Oh, no, stop. Because rocks doesn't say Ooh. family, and you don't want to say that. Man. It's not very nice. Ooh, don't see, the don't kick your family. Don't. Hey, this is a battle between <laughs> Lucifer and Jewish Panda, so... <laughs> Anything goes. <laughs> oh, wow, defensive oh, graveyard. Interesting. And the log comes down to clear it all out. I think that was the wrong move, but I've been wrong before. A few of the skeletons actually do add up and take down the giant, but the giant already got a few swings on the tower. Was it really worth it to commit five elixir? I think that's really good if you have something like Pekka, right? Which is going to stop and get distracted at every little thing along the way. But giant just ignores them. He just keeps walking. Log has been such a key card in these uh, in these anti tombstone uh, matchups, mm -hmm. and again we see that log earning the giant one big swing. Even though the graveyard is committed to the fence, not offense, which is a big part of Jewish Panda's aggressive nature. And we see the stacked bowlers yet again, but there's nothing to kill the Mega Minion. I think the Musketeer's out of cycle. Uh oh, there is a Mega Minion to challenge, and I think it will win it out. And one of the bowlers does survive. How do you stop this with the elixir that you have? You can't. Ooh, especially with the lightning right there. Jewish Panda giving the well played. Because one more rock, there it is, taken down Man. the tower. And Lucifer gonna tie it up one to one here in the finals. W wouldn't have it any other way. Is there any other day? But as soon as the golem pops and turns into golemites, Bowler just wrecks them. Like, there's yeah. no real follow up once, because uh, the golemites are medium sized and they get knocked back by the golem's pushes, preventing them from really locking onto a tower. Get doing a lot of damage with their attacks, and of course, if they're too far from the tower, when they blow up, they don't, they don't do anything. All right. Musketeer stepping up to the plate. The first Musketeer that Lucifer played in the last game was so effective. Oh, no! Musketeer, it oh. wins. Does he have a zap? That Ice Spirit got taken out also by a Bowler's Rock. Bad play by Jewish Panda. I think that log just reset yep. his own Inferno Tower. Oh, no. Oh, because no. Because it knocked, it knocked the Bowler, the current target, out of the way. Bowler still lives. And I'm pretty sure he can play another bowler at this point now. You're right, the bowler stacking up is just incredible. You know what actually might be really good for Jewish Panda's Expo deck is being able to rocket the double bowlers. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, maybe. Oh, oh, that ice spirit. That's actually good that he hit the ice spirit as well because that was one of the things, like, an ice spirit alone is enough to stop a mega minion from reaching the tower and by lightning it as well, he forced another play out. That expo. Uh oh. Oh, the bowler just, just in, time. in time. I think Bowler could have been a little closer, actually. He's so far from the river that he's just yeah. taking free damage right now. If he was turned around, that probably would have uh -oh. been a little better. Play another card. Oh, oh. Does he uh -oh. have an ice goal? Play another card. Play another card. Oh, card. No! no! Expo locks on. Now he's got lightning, he's got log. Looks like log is all he's going to do, but still, look at that. Look at that. Woo. Just like that takes the lead as far as damage. I think Jewish Panda is thrilled to try to steal a game here at the Expo. He feels really comfortable. He's up by a little bit. 
Now we're gonna go into the one minute double elixir time, which is probably where these tank decks get a lot stronger, but Jewish Panda may be able to start generating elixir so quickly in such a cheap cycle that he could set up an expo on the other side oh, and sort of force his opponent to play both ang angles. Inferno Tower, gonna lock onto the Giant. Actually is able to hit all three, and that's wow. gonna be pretty big. Yeah. Jewish Panda recognizing that as well. Poor little sad face. But he can drop another one right now if he wanted to. I think that would be a good option. Now the big thing, I think Lucifer actually wants that to happen multiple times, that situation that happened, because essentially he's getting a free lightning on the tower every single time oh. that play is, and you can just spell cycle Expo decks down. That's one of the reasons why lightning is so great against Expo. If you can set up a situation where you tank the Expo for a certain amount of time, lightning it, it's actually gonna take down the Expo and you get damage on the tower. But Jewish Panda has adapted and changed his placement up so that it was a little further, one more square over to the side, and now yes. Lightning didn't touch it. Yeah. yeah. He, he has to choose to Lightning the Expo and the Tower or the Inferno Tower and the Expo. He can't do all three. Ooh, man, these I giant pushes are coming in hard and fast. Yeah, it's so happy. That's what was so sad about it, getting killed by Lightning. It was smiling all the way through and just... Okay, I'm going to play. I'm going to go play. Wow, great lightning. Oh no, the Mega Minion's locked onto the Musketeer, not what you wanted. Aggressive Tombstone play. I really wonder why that decision was made. I, th I mean, I think he, he was more optimistic about the uh, the, giant. the giant surviving and wanted uh -oh. well, the skeleton armies here might behind be, it. Here might be one of the reasons, but no, the Mega Minion just placed right on top of the Musketeer. Oh, it actually will win. Wow, because the tower wasn't shooting, the tower yes. was too busy shooting the skeletons. The RB in expos. place. This Ice Bear is just going to take a board to the face. Oh, poor little guy. A bowler oh. to the face. So wait, now it's too now close. It's Lightning. too close. Doom, yeah. doom, doom. Oh no! Oh, oh didn't get the third strike. Every damage point counts here. Two minutes of overtime remaining. I believe he can get another bowler out real soon and he should start getting to that thing that we've seen so effectively, the stacking of the bowlers. Stacking the ceremonial of the stacking of bowlers. <laughs> <laughs> the ceremony of bowler stacking. Oh. Ooh. And as long as he has a rotation of either bowler or giant one at a time, it's really hard to get those expos out. He's going for these giant bowler pushes, but I think that giant's gonna get eaten up for free. Oh no, good lightning. The lightning might be the thing that opens uh, the pathway up for Lucifer. And I think he's gonna be able to play another giant. Oh no! Ops not to. Still Did you notice, by the way, we have the new overtime music. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> in the last, the most recent update, the music for overtime has changed. Wow. And look at that. Jewish Panda has taken so much damage on both sides that I wonder if he could even sneak a giant or musketeer in the other lane. That might be enough to put it within spell range. What are you going to do about this Inferno Tower? He's going to lightning it, and I think that giant will be enough to punch that tower down. One thing we've gotten to the point, though, is like you mentioned, I think, last Coronation Day, Rainy, is now the tower is at a low health where if an Ice Golem gets popped out, it might be the target of the Lightning. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Yes. I think I, he's just going for it. Yeah. I, I no actually think that one of the things that Lucifer has been doing incorrectly is making sure that he's Lightning the Inferno Tower. I think just let the Inferno Tower stand. Why do you care if the Giant makes it to the tower or not? Mm. It's so unlikely that that's the case. Just make sure you're cycling the tower. He's going for it. One more rock after this, he'll do it, right? You're right, because it log's not going to be enough here. The downside is he's looking really close to death here. Oh, that no, 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 one more victory on the expo and the tower. Oh. That way, the Jewish expo just Panda wastes the rest happy. of its measly little life shooting at the giant, Either way. never accomplishing anything. So, Lucifer, has he won twice with Giant Bowler, or is it one and one? I, so he I, did, he did win an early round, but I'm trying to remember because I think we saw the graveyard. I think he's only won twice with Giant Bowler because he, Jewish Panda won the first game. He won the Jewish, or Lucifer won the second game against Gollum deck with his Giant Bowler. I believe then he won against the Expo with his Giant Bowler. Whether it's one and one or two with the Giant Bowler, he is bringing this Golem deck into his final crucial game. If he wins this, two thousand dollars richer, booked a ticket to the arena battles, and maybe even all the way to the crown duels. That's right. It is on Jewish Panda right now to come back and tie it up two-two to take it to that crucial game number five here in the finals. Can he do it? Golem actually avoids the slow effect of the Ice Golem, and that's gonna provide the, oh, is that, oh wow, that was just on the edge of enough. I think that Golem's gonna make it to the tower. Big opening from Lucifer. He's gonna take an early lead. 
You're right, you see how crucial the tombstone is in the Oh no! A bad log! Oh, I actually, I, never mind, it actually kind of worked out. Huh. Oh, because right as the tombstone popped, the golem yes. died, and that explosion took care of it. Still, though, not super ideal for Jewish Panda. I mean, having the big body golem make it to the tower is much better than the golemites, because the damage is not proportional, right? The two golems do not equal the one. The two golemites does not equal the golem. I agree, absolutely. Yeah. Early in beta, this is a little side note, Golemites used to be a lot stronger and the main golem body used to be a lot weaker yes. and Supercell changed it to make the main golem very tough and the golemites much weaker so that the golem itself uh -oh. felt like an imposing presence. It's it's him again, Rumham, the river golem. <laughs> oh no, river golem. I think we might be going for some, uh, some uh, graveyards here real soon. This might actually be big because there was no tombstone set up before that, yeah. that, uh, that there it is. Uh -oh, golem uh -oh, came uh -oh. down. Here comes the graveyard. Stop it. Mega Minion is not the choice that you so want. So much damage. Wait, hold on. Graveyard. It's too much. Oh, the oh, oh and Jewish wow. Panda places the double tombstone. Could he, I think he might want another three crown here in the future. Yeah. The horn of the undead is unstoppable right now for Jewish Panda. River Golem worked out so well because none of really Lucifer's elixir was played on the left side. He didn't even have a tombstone in place and just did not have the infrastructure to stop that Golem from making it to the tower. Plus the fact that he had to deal with the graveyard, it's just a little bit too much. We see another River Golem making it to the Ooh. tower and Jewish Panda is quickly running away with this game. Even if Lucifer somehow takes down that right side tower, He's already down. One more Golem push will take down that right side tower for Jewish Panda. There's He's no so way Golem decks are so slow, they can't do it in just 10 seconds. You know what yeah. I mean? There's no, there is no combination of cards in that deck that can take down a low health tower Woo! quickly. And there it is, down just like wire. that. Jewish Panda gonna tie it up against Lucifer. We are going into game number five. Oh, and they're not a great matchup against right. Expo. Well, here it is, guys. Oh, man. Lucifer from Clout, Jewish Panda from Human Maid. It is the final game. One of these two players is taking home $2,000. Let's see what it's going to be. Jewish Panda was mad at Lucifer. Did he, just, did he throw an angry face? Yeah, he threw an angry face. Poor guy. Super mad. Uh -oh. There it is. There it oh. is. <laughs> Womp womp. Good game. Now the catch here though is that if this expo and the associated skeletons can do a good amount of damage to the golem before it really crosses the river, you never know, right? Like, the golem's probably gonna stop this expo, but if that inferno tower survives with a lot of health, the next expo can be set up with defense built in. Man, that expo has actually shot down a lot of units, but just there's just too many targets for it. Both even elixir trades, so when it all kind of shakes out, they're both at five. No major advantage for either player. Although that's pretty good news, I think, for Jewish Panda. I think that's the ultimate situation where you could get an elixir trade against you. Yeah. I, it's interesting because you do have the double one elixir cards and the ice golem and the log. And so I think if Jewish Panda just consistently justifies using the log, like right here, could have been a oh, little bit earlier. Skeletons. No! Oh, oh my god! god. Jewish Panda! No, the zap! Oh, it actually does reset onto the ice golem. So he's going to mitigate a lot of damage. But this is what we're Still talking lightning. about. As per Ender, fast cycling expo decks are where it's at. If there's an expo deck that doesn't make me quite as upset as the other ones, it's the fast cycling ones because I do believe that there is a world where they can beat out big body decks. You just have to be able to gain momentum in the game and, and cycle faster than the Golem can. And we saw it before, so what happened on the last one is that Lucifer was trying to save up to 8 Elixir right as the expo locked on his tower, he hit that 8 Elixir and was just like, ah, oh, too late, just one little second too late. And I think that happened again. He had eight elixir. We had about seven elixir. And I think he panicked and played the archers and ice golem instead of just dropping the big main golem. Of All right, we're in double elixir time, and this actually makes it much safer for the golem player. You're right. Many more opportunities to have eight elixir in hand to play the golem at the uh, preferred time, and not pulling a Clyde. And worth it in mentioning middle. that the golem deck is not so hot. Or, I'm sorry, uh, the. Uh, Expo deck is not so hot at actually defending against these big pushes. Mm. It likes to be in the driver's seat. It wants to keep you constantly trying to react to it. If you actually have time to put a tank behind your king tower and build yeah. the support troops behind it, it doesn't really have the tools to stop you. The skeletons actually delay the Mega Minion long the enough Mega to keep Minion. the Inferno Tower alive. There's Ooh. a big lightning, but it's not going to actually hit the Inferno Tower, and so that's the only, good, that's the only damage that's going to come out onto uh, Jewish Panda, but again, Pretty impressive. There's no, it's tough to find an opportunity for Jewish Panda to counterattack because he has to rely on the expo and there's the golem to match. What Jewish Panda doesn't realize either is that he was actually behind, he went from being even an elixir to being behind by three after a lot of those exchanges. Wow. He had to spend a lot more elixir to stop these golem pushes than he, you know, than his opponent was spending on the attacks. And the final card in Jewish Panda's hand again is Rocket, correct? Correct. 
And there's actually been some decent rocket targets, but he just hasn't really gone for it. Like these archers with the baby dragon and the mega mates, like maybe you can rocket and get a decent amount of them down, but hasn't decided to go for it yet. He needs to clear the board and drop his next expo. The, what you can't do is get to the point where Gollum is cycling as fast as your expo, right? Yeah. That's just not gonna be a winning moment for you. Inferno Tower gets dropped. Ooh, that might be in lightning though. range. I think, I, think, I think it is lightning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Needed to play it one square over to the river. He could have waited a little bit longer, I think, just for the sake of letting it heat up a little bit and then and then lightning it, but worked out all right. Interesting. So this is a scramble, not the most elixir efficient defense. Is another gone. Has to cycle to a second Inferno Tower. Here's I the downside. Think, Lightning's gonna come out again and that Inferno Tower's gonna be dead and out of cycle. I think he needs to cycle fast to the second Inferno He's Tower got it back and, then, again now. and then play the Golem over to the right side tower is I think the winning move. Oh yeah, there it is. Ooh, Ooh double Inferno Tower. Mm. I, okay, wow. Actually, the Golem does actually take the bait. 596 the health left. And he He's starting the rocket. Over. I don't think he can stop that. Now ooh. he can survive one more lightning, and but if he can right, somehow a make, will survive. Yeah, if he can make it to two more rockets, it actually he might actually be able to pull this oh off. Man. It depends on the oh oh right He's man. traded the lightning with the rocket. He needs to play the log now. Oh, it's oh, funny. They play the log to cycle. I actually oh think God. Jewish Panda can oh make God. it. He needs to no, play but, elixir but efficient. It's way slower than lightning. Oh, no, ah. they're the same elixir cost. He can actually do it. Light long. No, but it'd be travel time. Travel time. Why is it lightning? 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 Why is it light